Hi students, welcome to Smart Locus. In this video, we will see secondary growth in plants, a topic in plant anatomy. In dicot, secondary growth is due to the activity of dicot stem, is due to the activity of uh, vascular cambium and core cambium. First about the activity of vascular cambium. In stem, vascular cambium is partially primary and partially secondary in origin. The two types of vascular cambium are fascicular cambium and interfascicular cambium. Fascicular cambium means cambium which is found within the bundle. Vascular bundle within the bundle between primary xylem and primary phloem. It is also known as intrafascicular cambium that is within the bundle. It is primary in origin. So fascicular cambium is primary in origin. Then interfascicular cambium. The cambium which is present in between vascular bundles. That is secondary in origin. Actually it is formed from medullary rays. So medullary rays are nothing but parenchyma. It undergoes de-differentiation to form interfascicular cambium. So these two joints, fascicular cambium and interfascicular cambium joins to form a cambial ring. So vascular cambium is partially primary, that is fascicular cambium is primary and partially secondary, that is interfascicular cambium is secondary in origin. Now let us see the activity of cambial ring. Cambial ring. From cambial ring, three types of tissues are formed. Towards the inner side, it forms secondary xylem. So from cambial ring, secondary xylem is formed towards the inner side. And towards the outer side, it forms secondary phloem. And in radial directions, it forms medullary rays, that is, secondary medullary rays which passes through secondary xylem and secondary phloem. So see the tissues in sequence. Here innermost that is primary xylem. Then outer to that secondary xylem which is formed towards the inner side from cambial ring. Then vascular cambium. Just outer to vascular cambium, secondary phloem. Then outermost primary phloem. Vascular cambium or cambial ring is more active towards the inner side. As a result, numerous secondary xylem is deposited. Due to this deposition, the primary and secondary phloems gradually gets crushed. So due to the continued deposition of uh, secondary xylem, primary phloem and secondary phloems gradually gets crushed. Whereas primary xylem, that is the innermost, remain more or less intact. And due to this activity, girth increases. So, increase in girth is due to the activity of vascular cambium. In temperate regions, the activity of vascular cambium is not uniform throughout the year. It's more active during spring season. And numerous, large number of cellular elements are formed during this season with uh, vessels with the wider cavity. That is secondary xylem vessels with the wider cavity. This is known as spring wood or early wood. Spring wood or early wood. And this wood is lighter in color and it is with a lower density. Then, this vascular cambium is less active during the other season. Especially during winter season, it is least active and the wood formed during the season will have fewer xylary elements and secondary xylem with the narrow vessels. This is known as autumn wood or late wood and this wood is darker in color and it's with a high density. So this uh, spring wood and autumn wood formed during any year forms alternate concentric rings in tree trunk to form annual ring. 
So age of a tree can be calculated by counting the number of annual ring that is known as dendrochronology. The next about hardwood and sapwood. So wood means secondary xylem. Hardwood means a greater part or inner part of the secondary xylem. Sapwood means outer part, peripheral part of secondary xylem. Hardwood provides mechanical support, whereas sapwood is involved in conduction of water and minerals. And hardwood, that is dark brown in color, that is due to the deposition of tannins, resins, oils, gums, aromatic substances and essential oil. And this hardwood is hard, durable and resistant to microbial attack. Then, it consists of dead elements with a lignified cell wall. And it is also known as duramen. Then, sapwood, also known as alburnum, it is the peripheral region involved in conduction of water and minerals. Corcambium. The outer cortical layers and epidermal layers also gets broken due to the activity of vascular cambium or due to increase in girth. So this has to be replaced or otherwise we can say that a new protective layer has to be formed. That is the objective of the activity of cork cambium. Cork cambium is formed, it develops in cortex region. That means it is from, it is formed from permanent tissues. That is through de-differentiation. Cork cambium is a lateral meristem. So it's an example for de-differentiated tissue. And then cork cambium consists of narrow, thin-walled, rectangular cells. And from corcambium, towards the outer side, cork or phelum develops. That is, cork or phelum is formed from corcambium. Corcambium is a de-differentiated tissue. So, from de-differentiated tissue, cork and phelum are formed means, it is an example for re-differentiated tissue. Towards the inner side, secondary cortex or phelloderm is formed. It is also an example for re-differentiated tissue. These three, that is, cork, corcambium and secondary cortex, collectively forms the new protective layer, that is, periderm. Then, uh, bark is a non-technical term actually. Bark includes all tissues outer to vascular cambium. All tissues outer to vascular cambium. That means secondary phloem plus periderm. Then lenticel. Lenticel is nothing but a small lens shaped opening found in the bark, which is uh, meant for gaseous exchange. The next about secondary growth in root. In root, vascular cambium is completely secondary in origin. And here, the vascular cambium develops below phloem, above protoxyla. Root is having radial vascular bundle. That means vascular cambium initially it is a wavy cambial ring. And later it becomes circular and further growth is similar to secondary growth in dicot stem. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe by pressing the subscribe button below and press the bell button also to get the notifications. If you think this video is useful for need preparing students, please share it. Thanks for watching.